Hello guys, so today I'm going to explain and discuss to you about multiple intelligence. Our group's topic is the logical intelligence. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Howard Gardner, a professor from Harvard University, was the person who found the theory of multiple intelligences, which is divided into eight specific intelligences interpersonal, intrapersonal, musical, linguistic, kinesthetic, naturalistic, logical, and visual. People with logical or mathematical intelligence are skilled at deductive reasoning, detecting patterns, and logical thinking. They are good at scientific investigations and identifying relations between different things. So now we're going to talk about the results of the multiple intelligence test for the ninth grade. These are the results of the multiple intelligence test of the ninth grade. As you can see from my class 9C's pie chart, People who got the musical intelligence in my class has the highest percentage of 32% and the naturalistic intelligence has the lowest percentage that is 0% of all the people in my class. From the 9th grade pie chart, the intelligence which got the highest percentage is musical that has 29% of all the intelligences and the visual intelligence has got the lowest percentage of all the 9th graders' results, which only got 4%. So now we're going to show you the interview that we did with the 9th graders about logical intelligence. Hello, my name is Ashley. I'm from Harvard University. Today I'm going to talk to you about the results of the multiple So first of all, do you like to play puzzle and strategy yeah. and strategy games? Yeah. So what are the examples of the, those games? For example, uh, I like to play Dota 2, Counter Strike Global Offensive, and some other sports like chess and football. So can you give me the reason you play those games? I think I like to, that kind of game because it is fun and challenging for me to play. So what are the benefits you gain from playing those games? From playing that game, uh, I became more concentrated and focused when I'm studying or when I'm playing. And it also helps me to reach out to the people of the world. So, thank you, Ken. That's all. Thank you. Hello, Linda. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? So, do you like to organize your things? Um, how do you feel when you see your things aren't organized? Uh, I will directly organize it. What are the main things that you usually organize? Uh, like, uh, maybe my clothes and shoes and things. Um, do you like So first of all, do you want to be a job that has a relation to counting out and experimenting? Yes. So what kind of job do you want to get? Uh, electrical engineering. So why do you want to get that job? Because I want to continue my dad's job. Thank you, Kevin. I have a couple of questions. Sure. Okay, so the first question is, do you think you're capable of solving mathematical equations? Yes. Um, can you easily count big numbers in your mind? Yes. What would you be able to count things in your mind? I'm not sure like that. Okay, thank so you. So now we're going to tell you guys a little history of the national exam. National exam in Indonesia is commonly abbreviated as UN or UNAS. It is a standard evaluation system of primary and secondary education in Indonesia and the equation of quality of education levels among the areas that are conducted by the Center for Educational Assessment. There are three subjects that are tested for elementary students which are Indonesian, Mathematics, and Science. And in addition, English is added for the Junior High School and Senior High School National Exam. Can I ask you a 
ask you a couple of questions. So, the first question is, do you feel confident for the national exam? Why did you feel that way? Because I have not studied for the national exam. Why didn't you study for the national exam? Because I have to listen to the national exam. So, did that affect the score of your national exam? Thank you. Do many of you have a couple of questions? Is the computer-based national examination better than the written one? Yes. Why do you think it's better? Because I think it's a lot more easier than the written one. Do you find it easier than the written examination? Yes. Okay, thank you. So now we're going to give 10 study tips for logical learners. One hour later Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video will be useful to you. God bless you. Thank you.